guys, I am so happy to finally be showing you guys the nursery. This was actually finalized this morning. I am nine months pregnant and I'm actually gonna be induced in literally days, like this weekend. So this is one of the last belly updates. Oh my gosh, this is just, it, it's honestly so surreal, like I can't believe it and we've had the crib, we've had the dresser and topper and stuff for like over a month now but we've slowly been putting stuff together, it's been about a few weeks since we started building everything but everything is finally finalized or maybe not finalized but the closest it's gonna get to the final thing because I have literally days so I think this is it. I am so excited to show you guys the nursery reveal, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the entrance of the room. As I told you guys before, this is actually attached to our bedroom. Um, so it's like literally right next to each other, which is amazing because there's no door separating us from her nursery. Right when you come in, to your right, we have the changing station and the dresser. So this is actually part of the Aurora, 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 I don't know why that's so hard for me to say, but it's part of that collection and it also was a part of like the crib collection and stuff. The topper also came separately, but you could also just like add it to your order. And of course we got her um, her changing station right here. It comes with a lot of uh, drawer space. I started organizing some stuff, like right here I put a bunch of Frito Baby stuff, some sleep sacks right here, which are the swaddles. So just like different stuff. I put all her clothes away, zero to three months. Diapers and some extra disposable changing pads in case she like, you know, gets messy and stuff. Some wipes. I didn't realize how tedious it was to do baby laundry. We washed literally everything, including gifts, including everything, like blankets, just everything that's gonna touch her because I heard that they have very sensitive skin. So on the changing station, of course, we have the changing pad. And of course, right next to that, we have like the essentials that you need uh, for changing diapers. So right here, we actually have these uh, tear baskets. And this is just to hold extra stuff on the side. I didn't realize like how much we needed to organize until we were putting everything together. So it's just good to have like the backup right there on the side and it just keeps everything organized. Even back here, I have a bunch of extra products. Um, of course, we have, you know, the wipey warmer right here. I also have the outlet because my sister got me this and this was actually really, really important for me to have. It actually monitors babies like pulse and oxygen or so something like that where um, it lets you know if, like their oxygen or their heart rate goes up or anything, which could be life-saving. So um, I wanted to buy this on my own anyway, and then my sister got it for me at my baby shower, so I was so, so thankful for this. And I have it right here in this little um, area for when she's here. I also put a mirror up back here. This is just like a round mirror that I got at Target. Right next to that on the right, there is a diaper pail. It traps all the scent and doesn't let it out, which I thought was cool. Right here, we just have a basket to put all her clothing, like dirty clothes, when we change it here on the topper. So I feel like there's a lot of product going on right here in the changing station. Okay, right here to my right, I'm like, my, my right, is the crib. This is part of the Aurora collection, like I mentioned. And I actually love this crib so, so much. It's a nice ivory color, and when I saw this crib, I was like, I need that crib. It gives me very baby vibes. Of course, she's not gonna be sleeping in here for who knows like how long, because she has her bassinet that will be right next to our bed. Um, but once she's ready for the crib, or once she's old enough, maybe a few months, a year, I don't know how old they usually are, but she'll definitely be using this. Now, I know that you should not have anything in the crib for a baby, but while she's not gonna be using it, I'm gonna have this in here as a little decor. We put a little bunny in here, and there's also a little pillow that came like with a comforter, but I am 100% on board with not having anything in here when she's actually sleeping in here. I do eventually want to get curtains for uh, the windows. Like I said, the, room, the way that this room is shaped, it has windows and 
I want to get some blackout curtains for sure eventually, uh, but this is what we got going for now. Right here is another basket. This is the one that I originally got for her clothing, but it's actually pretty small in comparison to the other one when I realized how much laundry babies actually have. So this might be like a trash bin or something. To the right, we have the nursing area, nursing chair. I have sat on this chair for hours on end. It blows my mind that I'm sitting here, you know, with my belly and once we're actually like using it, using it, like I won't have my belly. It's so weird. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be right here, guys, like, or like nursing. So crazy. In just days, in literally days, what the heck. So the chair also came with a little pillow and it also came with an ottoman where you could kick up your feet, which I think is amazing. Right next to that, we actually have a nightstand. We actually ordered a nightstand to match the crib and the dresser. But it didn't get here on time and frankly now I'm thinking like dang like I know he didn't need it. We have a night light. I have some books stacked and a little bunny on top. So right next to the chair right here we have some bookshelves that I also just got on Amazon. You guys Amazon has everything. Decor wise in this room I bought like 70%. On Amazon like anything that had to do with like the bedding anything that had to do with like the organization in the changing station a bunch of extras and like organization stuff I bought all this on Amazon we have our favorite books up here and I love that it's right next to the chair that way when you come to sit down you just grab a book and sit down I know I'm probably too excited and I feel like in every nursery reveal there's usually always people saying like girl you're not gonna use this or that but listen I'm excited this is my first baby so I'm just let me, let her thrive okay if I don't use any of this ever like just let me be excited but I feel like I will I don't know I'm sure mommy life is crazy but I'm manifesting that I will do all this so I thought this was a really cute idea right next to the chair and here we just have some blackout curtains over here not much going on right here i mean i don't know what to put on this wall but right here we have a fake plant banana tree I think uh, that's what it's uh, yeah it is banana tree I just thought it would look cute, a little touch of green. And I also think that just adding any touch of green ever into a room just adds some life. Over here, we have a bassinet. This bassinet is here for now. This is actually gonna be right next to our bed. We have it here for now because I feel like if I have this in my room next to my actual bed right now, like I just know it's gonna form a bunch of clutter. When we get back from the hospital, we'll be setting this up right next to our bed and she'll be sleeping right next to us. But for now, it's in the nursery. Over here, uh, again, around the wall, like this is like an octagon. I thought it would look cute if I did something with this and you know, maybe put up a, a little like shelf or a little rack, whatever you would call this. It holds stuff up there. So I put like a little piece of clothing. I have some teething stuff, pacifier, a little rainbow rattle. Girl, I'm sure <laughs> once she's here, like this is all coming off, but I thought it would be cute as a little like decor moment. And then you know we just got like some little knickknacks down here. This was a gift at my baby shower that I thought was beautiful. It says, out of all the moms in the world, I'm so glad you are mine. I literally cried when I opened this. I was like, oh my gosh. Another bunny. I We have way more bunnies than I actually thought. So yes, it is a bunny theme, I guess. I love this section. I think this section is actually so cute. And it was really me just trying to fill up the area. I was like, I need to do something with that. And I'm so glad I did because I think it looks so cute. So right here we have this shelf that actually used to be in our bedroom. But I thought it would look cute in here again to fill some space. So on here we just have a bunch of knickknacks and stuff. Here we have her ultrasound picture when she was only 13 weeks. Like tiny. She was as big as a grape here. But now she's an 8 pounder. An 8 and a half pounder y'all. Like a whole baby. Please guess down below how much she'll weigh. I feel like she's gonna weigh like nine, but then also like sometimes it could be off, who knows. Let's comment down below, let's, let's play a game right now. Guess her weight down below and in a few days you guys will find out because 
I'm literally being induced like in a couple days. But yeah, 13 weeks when she was literally a little peanut, like so little. Next to this um, rainbow decor because she is our rainbow baby. And I just think it's perfect next to her ultrasound. I have a fake plant again. This is from her baby shower. This is a little bear from her baby shower. So I went ahead and saved some bears. And this is always gonna be in here forever because it was from her baby shower. Another little like teething toy here that I'm sure will not stay here. <laughs> but I just put it for decor. This book right here, I had to like put it on its own as display because this book is honestly so special. Ron and I, when we first read it to her, I was like, this is the cutest book in the world. And I would really recommend it to anybody. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so I love this book so much that I had to like display it on its own. It's called God Gave Us You. Balled my eyes out. <laughs> Such a cute book. Right here we just have a bouncer. Definitely on this side, more decor than anything. And then on the other side, like essential stuff like crib, changing station and stuff. So this is a room, you guys. This literally took us weeks because we would like open stuff and then slowly order more stuff. But this is as complete as it's gonna get. And I'm really, really excited for her to be here. I, I can't believe it. And the fact that I have my nursery like two, three days before I'm going into labor. Like, I just want to say to all expecting mommies, put your nursery together <laughs> sooner than you think you need to because I always thought, I was like, I'm sure you just need to build a crib. It'll take like a week. We've been working on this room for like a month now. I'm sure we could have finished earlier, but it takes time. And also you never know how soon your baby's gonna come. I actually wish I could have done this sooner because this last week we've been in here like trying to finalize everything because literally in two days like literally two days we're gonna be going into the hospital so biggest advice is put it together as soon as you can that is it for the nursery i am so so excited you guys i cannot believe i truly cannot believe that she's coming like i can't and i feel like pregnancy has been one of those things that like it was already surreal being pregnant and every week that went by i was like i can't believe we're here i can't believe we're here i can't believe we're here believe it or not like even now i look in the mirror i'm like well i'm really pregnant like i'm really actually pregnant and i'm about to give birth and it just flew by so so quick and i'm just so happy and <laughs> girl i'm just so happy and grateful that we made it this far and i actually like it's really hard to believe that we're gonna have a baby like an actual baby and I'm so grateful for you guys and all the support you guys have showed us. It truly has meant like everything, like everything. I cannot thank you enough for all your sweet wishes and kind words. And we are just so excited. Like this is actually so, so insane to me that it's happening. And I could not be happier. Um, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just emotional because I'm like, oh my gosh, it, we're coming to an end and she's gonna be here. Like, that's uh, so exciting, you know? But just thank you guys so much. I know I've said it before, but just thank you endlessly. Like, we're gonna be parents. That is, it just blows my mind that it's like actually happening. So, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully pregnant still or with a baby. Bye.